boy oh boy do we have a surprise for all of you. To celebrate Red Dead Redemption 2's PC release, we're going to be doing a full gaming setup giveaway sponsored by Asus and AMD. Now all you have to do to enter in this giveaway is leave a comment down below either thanking Asus or letting me know what your favorite part of Red Dead Redemption 2 is. But as you can see, there's a ton of Asus parts going into this build and we've got a 1440p 144 hertz gaming monitor mouse keyboard and a headset everything you could need for the perfect gaming setup now all of these parts are going to be going inside the asus tough gt 501 mid tower which comes with three led aura sync fans in the front and a rear 140 millimeter fan the motherboard we're going to be using is the Tough Gaming X570 Plus Wi-Fi, which is perfect because we're going to be pairing this with the 3800X, courtesy of AMD. We're going to be replacing the stock CPU cooler with an ROG Ryujin 360 liquid CPU cooler. For our graphics card, we are going to be using the ROG Strix Gaming Radeon 5700 XT, which is built on AMD's 7 nanometer architecture and has free sync, which is going to work perfectly with the monitor that we're pairing this with. The Tough Gaming VG32 VQ 1440p 144Hz HDR FreeSync 1 millisecond response time display. You thought seeing horse balls in Red Dead Redemption 2 was good before, just wait until you see them bounce around at 144 frames per second on this monitor. Now, Asus was also kind enough to send along all the peripherals that a gamer could need, the Tough Gaming M5, the Tough Gaming H5 dual microphone headset, and the Tough Gaming K5 mechanical keyboard. Now, powering all of this is going to be the ROG Strix 750 watt, 80 gold plus rated power supply, and all that's left to do is to hold on to your pantalones while we get this built. Well, here she is, ladies and gentlemen, and she runs beautifully and looks stunning as well. Now, thanks to the Vulcan API, AMD systems really do shine in Red Dead Redemption 2, and this game is running buttery smooth on the 5700 XT in 1440p, and through this benchmark, we'll actually end up averaging about 77 FPS with ultra high and medium settings, which is pretty darn good. We've got the ultra settings where it matters, and then a spattering of high and medium on the things where you really can't tell the difference in the graphical fidelity, and you actually gain a lot of performance. We can actually bump some other things down to high 
and medium and get well over 100 fps to take advantage of this 144 hertz monitor um, but i wanted to try and get this as high as possible without ever dipping b b uh, below 60 fps and we definitely achieved it the game runs beautifully on this system and i gotta say i cannot wait until amd's next graphics card for red dead redemption 2 because if they keep going the way they have been with their cpus and get their graphics cards in line especially running on vulcan things are looking really good for team red now i just want to remind everyone that the only thing that you have to do to enter in this giveaway to win everything shown off in this video is to just leave a comment down below either thanking asus and amd or let me know what your favorite part of red dead redemption 2 is i do know that there's been a lot of issues with the pc release and i will be making videos and tutorials on how to fix those as well as optimizing the game and setting up a proper sli profile to get well over 100 fps FPS in 4k so keep an eye out for all of those videos i've been doing a lot of testing with red dead redemption 2 on pc and i'll be sharing all of my knowledge with all of you very soon but i hope you all enjoyed this video make sure to slap that like button and i'll see you in the next one